that you've been with for, you know, X amount of years now. Um, so it uh, definitely has some more importance on it. Um, just the opportunity to finish out the right way and send our seniors off. Any fear of a letdown being that you're 10-2 and two and this is not the Fiesta Bowl? No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, it's, it's, it's another game for us, you know. Um, I think we attack every opportunity. You know, you don't really worry about the result, but just kind of focus on enjoying the moment, having fun, and, and it all work itself out. What's been your biggest surprise of the season? Um, how many guys we were able to get into games? Um, you know, you never wish for injuries, but for us, that's kind of been the story is how many dudes have been able to step up. And it's not a surprise that they play well, but just a surprise that that's what it took to win all these games. Uh, but it's kind of a, um, it's a good thing to look at. It's pretty exciting to, to look back on and see how, how we were able to be so successful with all those, um, you know, variations to our path. Let's go back to September 18th. You take a hit late in the game. You already have hurt ribs. You go down, you don't get up. Are you fearing the worst? Nah, nah, nah. Um, in that moment, yeah. specifically? I mean, yeah, just knowing that I had a couple broken ribs already. Um, I've played with them for three weeks, so it wasn't a deal, but um, just thinking it's even worse. You know, will I be able to play again? What will happen? Um, and then, you know, just getting up off my feet was, was good. So, I mean, in the moment, yeah, it's pretty scary. Yeah, you can't breathe. Yeah. You still have a 400-pound guy laying on you. Big deal. And it's late in the game, and the game's not over yet. Right. Yeah, I mean, that was the last drive. I knew the importance of it, but uh, sometimes your body just can't do it. You can't do it, but that's why you got more guys on the dip chart that are prepared to, to step in and, and finish it out. This is your first year as a starter with potential for two more. Are you happy with how you've developed your game? Uh, yeah, happy but not content. You know, I know I have a lot of things left to, to improve on. Like what? Um, you know, just, just throwing the ball better, being a better distributor of the ball, a better quarterback, um, playing a little faster, um, letting the game develop faster. But that's what everyone, you know, knows that they need to improve on. So, uh, but for me, that's going to be my, my next step in the game. As you see that, and you've seen a lot of it, does it make you more eager to see where you can go with this? Absolutely. Yeah, every game you learn something new. Every season you get better. Um, so I'm excited for the off season to get back at it and then, you know, to get started up again. With so many guys coming back for next season, is this really the last game of 2021 or is this the first game of 22? <laughs> You're going to look at the first game of 22 for sure. I think I think what, what we put on the field today will determine how we start out next season. Um, so we've had that talk, you know, throughout the last couple of weeks that this is really the start of our next year's season. How we leave this season is how we'll start workouts and, and into our first game next year. So it's uh, really important to us. Prior to the Arizona game, we did an interview outside. It was like 95 degrees. Yeah. That was before 10 and 2 and all the, the circus that was coming. Can you believe it's gone that fast? It goes fast, man. When you're having fun, time flies. You having fun? Absolutely. We're in the middle of the holiday season, so it feels right that now is the time for Jaron Hall's 12 plays of Christmas. You ready? I am. Let's do it. Play number one, it's our season opener against Arizona. We're late in the first half. Neil gets open here for a 67-yard touchdown. Gives us a 14-0 lead going into half. Um, cruises us on our way to a 24-16 victory in front of all our fans of Vegas. Number two, home opener against Utah. Samson Nakua transferred from the U.S. the year before, and it was a big part of this game to help us beat him. Scores a touchdown right here. We win 26-17. What a night, man. Play number three. Not my favorite play to start out, but my favorite play to finish. After this interception that I throw here, Tyler saves the day, chases this dude down, goes Superman on him, knocks the ball out. Um, and after this, we end up winning the game 27-17. Number four here, we got a pretty sweet moment between big brother and little brother, and we play South Florida. Baylor throws a dime to Gunner over the middle right here for this touchdown, end up beating us to a 35-27 win. Play number five, one of many highlights this night against Utah State for Ty. He runs a 59-yard touchdown right here up the sideline. Ends up finishing the game with 218 yards and three touchdowns. We finish beating the Aggies 34 to 20. Number six here, uh, one we definitely love to have back, but nonetheless, first game back, able to play again. Sampson goes up right here in the corner of the end zone. Gets big over the top of this dude, makes a great catch on this Boise State defender. Play number seven. This was a fun stadium to be at. We had a huge presence of BYU fans. Super fun to play in front of them. Um, this 56-yard touchdown run right here coming out of half was big time. Um, great play. It was super fun to get, you know, get loose a little bit, get up the scene. Um, they got us, unfortunately, Big 12 chance. Baylor, they're a good team. Got us by 14, but uh, we'll see them again next season. Number eight here. It's nice to get back on track with a good win at Washington State. You guys were a good team. Tyler had a heck of a night for us. Rushed for 191 yards and two touchdowns. We ended up beating him by two points, 21-19. Play number nine, 
Just came after a long night with a lot of touchdowns, like a track meet up and down the, the field. But uh, Ty here, he had a big night for us. Um, goes for 49 yards on this play right here, but just one of many. Finished that with 266 yards and five touchdowns. And we ended up winning 66-49 over Virginia. It's a good night. Number 10 here, great grab by Puka himself, the man. Hopefully it's one of many more to come in a BYU jersey, but we shall see. Uh, great grab in the corner of the end zone against Idaho State. Helps us cruise past them the 59-14 victory. Number 11 right here, giving a little love to the defense. Jake Robinson goes up for one of his two interceptions of the game. Um, ends up getting the Randy Moss Award and some nice pair of gloves signed by Randy Moss himself with this one. Um, ends up helping us get to a victory against Georgia Southern 34-17. And to wrap up my 12 plays of Christmas is to finish with this wonderful cherry on top. Nice little bomb to Keanu Hill right over the middle at USC. Nice little touchdown grab by him sneaking in the back. Um, the future's bright with our receivers, man. And my personal favorite of all the plays today is our bonus play. Coach Sataki's been on the nice list this year, so congrats, Coach, on your extension to 2027. All right, love what he said during our interview. The important thing today is to enjoy the moment.